Hi, in this screencast, I'm going to show you very quickly how to use uh, DB2 in the Ubuntu environment. Login first as DB2 inst1. Now, um, open up a terminal. And if you just boot up your machine, DB2 is probably not started. So, um, well, first I, I like to use a bash shell. Um, and then DB2 is probably not started, so you probably want to start it off. You can check what databases you have created by using the DB2 list DB directory command. have ICS321A database created so that's what I'm going to use and the first thing you do is to connect to it And you can also see what tables are in the database by using db2 list tables command. Um, at this point, there are no tables. So what I'd like to do is to create the tables that are in your assignment two, and show you how to load the data into it. So I've downloaded the zip file in downloads. I'm going to unzip it. And you should see that there is a create table script that I could run. And that's what I'm going to run first to create the tables. And you can use this command to run the scripts. And all the tables are created successfully. Now if you do a list tables again, you should see those tables. Note that each table is associated with a schema name and to um, fully qualify the table name you need the schema name with a dot and then the table name. Um, by default the schema name is your logon ID. In this case I logged on as db2 ins1 so the default schema name is db2 ins1. So if I omit the schema name in the table uh, specification then by default you will be db2 ins1. And now we're ready to load some data. Um, note that the data is in comma separated uh, file format. Now we have already seen that we could um, insert individual tuples. Uh, if you have CSV files, you can load them using a load command. Okay. And you can do it um, in this way. Load from um, the file that I have, hang on. Oh, yes, I have that. The file that I have is load from PCE func 09csv of delimited del insert into PCE func. And this shows that the load was successful, 72 tuples were loaded. And we can do the same thing for the PCE prod table. And also the same thing for just the prod hierarchy table. You can now query some of the some of these tables. And 
uh, if you have um, error codes like that you can look them up by doing um, uh, you look at the SQL state is SQL 0668n you can in fact you can even copy this and then um, going to the db2 shell do a question mark and then paste it uh, okay not quite let's do sql 0668 and this gives you the error message and the reason code we had was one and this is saying that the set integrity statement needs to be executed um, because we had foreign key references and those have not been verified so um, what you need to do is to do an integrity check by using this command think you should be allowed to query the table so everything is there you can do the same query for func that's what the table looks like um, you can do also prod um, you could also do um, if you just want to fetch the first two three rows for example what it looks like okay you could also just do just count the number of tuples using count and so on now you can also put your queries in a file for that you need to know how to use an editor so I would recommend Pico which is a very simple editor that um, probably you don't need much learning to be able to use it so let's say I'm going to write a query Q1 Alright, pico sql1, hit return, I will type my query in here, select, um, let's see, max of uh, pce from pce product, and um, let's see on my query, I can terminate the statement with a semicolon. Um, says control x to exit so let hit control x save modified buffer yes write it to q1.sql hit enter and now q1sql is there okay you can look at it using less and you see that's the statement now you can execute it using db2 minus tvf q1.sql and it should run um, now on the submission machine you're going to need to have a fully qualified name for that you need to prefix it with db2 ins1 um, because those are those tables were created using db2 ins1 save it again and this should still work because you have the right permissions to query it okay so now you are ready to write queries or any other sql commands okay you can also try doing inserts, delete, and updates on these tables as well. And um, when you're done, you just exit and, and shut down the system.